With the introduction of Core Manager in QSYS Designer 8.0 or higher, the process for installing licenses for features such as UCI deployments and Lua scripting to a QSYS core has changed a little bit. You'll still need to start by purchasing the licenses you need from a QSC sales representative, so no changes there. Once you've purchased your license, you'll receive an email that contains your entitlement ID, or EID. You'll need this to activate the licenses on your core or cores. A single EID is assigned to each purchase and can cover multiple licenses. Each license from a single EID can be deployed on a different core. The email also contains a link to written instructions on how to install your licenses if you need them. But you've started this video already, so stay with me, Goose. In this example, my email contains a single EID that's good for three of each type of license. There are actually two different methods with which to install a license, online and offline. Let's start with the online method. This is by far the simplest and most commonly used way to install a license. It requires that your core has access to the internet. Let's start by connecting my first core using Core Manager. To do this, I'm going to select the Licensing tab. Here you can see whether or not your core is able to communicate with the QSC licensing server. If this icon is green, you can proceed with the online method. As we can see, there are currently no licenses installed on this core. Let's fix that. I simply copy the EID from my email and paste it into this field here, then hit activate. Now, I'm shown a list of the licenses still available via my EID. In this instance, all three of my total UCI and scripting licenses are available. I'm going to select both types of license and hit install. And that's it. I'm done. This core is now good to go for both UCI deployment and QSYS control via scripting. Okay, so that covers license installation for cores that can connect to the internet. But what about if your core is not able to connect to the internet? Well, first off, we'd recommend that you use the online activation process whenever possible, just because it's so simple. And even if a core is intended to be deployed offline, you might consider connecting it to the internet during the commissioning process, installing the relevant licenses, and then taking the core back offline once you're done. However, if that's not an option, you start by gathering your EID, as well as copy and pasting your core's locking ID, which can be found in the core manager. I recommend pasting those into a Word doc, because you'll need both a little bit later. Now visit the QSE licensing portal and copy your EID into this field and hit sign in. Then click on the licenses tab to see your remaining available licenses on that entitlement. In this case, UCI deployment license and a scripting license. I'm going to select these licenses and hit activate. You'll then copy and paste your core's locking ID into the relevant field and then press next. You can also specify the email address to which my license file should be sent. This will auto-populate with the email address associated with the original license purchase, but you can change this. Uh, useful if you're installing licenses, but somebody else in your organization purchased them. In my case, however, the email address is correct, so I'll just hit activate. I'll receive an email almost instantaneously, and that email will have a license file attached. This is a raw text file named lservec underscore, and then my core's locking ID. I'm gonna save that to my desktop. Now, I go back to Core Manager and select Upload License File. I select my license file, and once it's uploaded, I hit Activate, and my licenses are installed. So, that's it. License activation made easy in Core Manager. 